In this video, I'll show you how to create captivating character introductions with Keyframe in CapCut PC. Let's use this video as an example. Select the frames you like, then click on Freeze. Extend the duration of the frames, ensuring the effect lasts longer. Duplicate the frame and paste it into a second layer, making sure the second layer video is aligned with the main video. Next, click on the second layer video. Go to the Video Cutout tab. Click Auto Cutout. Remove the background. Choose your preferred outline effect. Select a color. and adjust the effect as needed. Then, go to the Animation tab, add Fade In and Fade Out animations. Go to the Effects tab. Click Blur Effect Add to the Track. Move the effect between the two video layers. Start by adding a Blur Effect keyframe at the beginning. Adjust Blur to 0. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade in ends. Adjust blur to 51. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade out begins. Now, add a blur effect keyframe. Move the play cursor to the last frame of the effect. Adjust blur to 0. Next, click dot silk screen add to the track. Move the effect between the two video layers. Adjust the color and size. Add a keyframe at the beginning. Then reduce the texture and filters. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade in ends. Increase the texture and filters. Move the playback cursor to the corresponding position where fade out begins. Add a keyframe. Move the play cursor to the last frame of the effect. Then reduce the texture and filters. Next, click the top layer. Go to Video Basic tab. Move the play cursor to the end of fade in. Add a position and size keyframe. Move the play cursor 6 frames. Adjust scale to 140%. Move the play cursor to the start of fade out. Go back 6 frames. 
at a position and size keyframe. Move the play cursor to the start of fade out. Adjust scale to 100%. Click on text and choose a text template. Move the text to the desired position and match it with the frozen frames. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.